Born in Hungary, Dr. Katie Kuriko came to the U.S. to pursue science in the 1980s. But by 1998, her funding at the University of Pennsylvania dried up. I tried to get uh, grants, but I couldn't get the grants, and so I was not... Uh, uh, not promoted. Faced with losing her faculty job, she met Dr. Drew Weissman, who was photocopying journal articles in this building. When Katie and I would sit and talk, we just kept thinking of more and more things that we could do. He worked on vaccines. She worked on messenger RNA. Together, they found a way to create a vaccine that got past the body's defenses, but still prompted the immune system to make antibodies to fight disease. Talk to me about how skeptical people were about the value of RNA? I, you know, I, I don't uh, know, do, did we listen to them? Not really, you know, we... <laughs> I mean, everybody was skeptical, but we didn't care. How did the breakthrough eventually become acknowledged? In, in 2005, we published our paper that, that's now considered, you know, the, the game changer. But the acclaim didn't come. They really didn't care about it. And it wasn't until around 2008, 2009, when people started to see the potential. And now they're talking about a Nobel Prize. How does that make you feel? I don't think about that I will get it. It is like I focused always on the work, and that's what excites me. Today, students follow them asking for pictures. She reminds them glory is not the true reward. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Philadelphia. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.